Welcome to the channel everyone. Uh, today, working on the uh, Silverado 2500 HD. Yet again, uh, the time has come when I have to get the, the snow plow on this thing because we have uh, snow in the forecast. So, uh, I've got to do a little bit of disassembly. i got to pull my grill out and pull my headlights out and that should be the extent of disassembly on this. Um, got my harness here on the floor and I like to kind of lay it out and um, make sure everything is going to go where it's going to go. I did have to pick up a new uh, headlight harness because it's a little bit different than the uh, 2002 that the, the plow was on before. But other than that, other than the headlight harness, everything else I'm using is the same uh, as the other truck. So I guess I can go through this. I've, I've gone through this before on, on different uh, uh, trucks, but I'll just go through it quick. I got it laid out here on the floor. Uh, this is the isolation module. I got a three port one. Uh, that's that's what I run on, the, on these Chevys. Um, you've got a plug-in that goes there and that is uh, a plug-in that plugs into the plow. I believe that's the uh, control harness. And then, like I said, I just got this uh, headlight harness which plugs into the B and C, new, the new headlight uh, harness. And this will plug into the, the bulbs of the headlights. And also you've got your uh, parking lights. Well, actually just one parking light wire. And then on each side you got to hook up a, a turn signal uh, wire. You got to splice into your, uh, your harness. Um, that's the only uh, wires you actually have to splice into. And I'm surprised that uh, on this new of a truck they don't have that figured out better. But... Um, anyway, now you've got, uh, the harness right here and it does, does plug into there and, um, plugs into here and then you've got your positive and negative terminal that goes to the battery of the truck. You got your big plug right here that goes to the plow and then this harness here that's plugged into there and there. Your control harness right here. This will go inside the cab of the truck. You plug your uh, controller to that. And then you've got right here, this has to be um, on a switched 12 volt positive. So when you turn your key on, this has got to be uh, powered. And that's pretty much it guys. It, I know it kind of sounds complicated, uh, snow plow harness and even on the ground there it looks a little complicated but it really ain't. Western really has this down. Uh, I've, I've installed this these uh, harnesses on many many trucks now so it's really no big deal. Uh, the time consuming part is taking the truck apart and running your harnesses uh, out of the way. That's kind of the hardest part of this job. And then um, another kind of difficult part of the job is getting this harness through the firewall. And it's uh, a little going to be a little easier on this truck. I'm going to show you uh, when I do it, but there is a hole uh, on the firewall of these newer uh, generation trucks that is going to, I'm just going to be able to slide that wire right through there, no problem, right into the cab. Um, your truck may or may not have that depending on the options that you have, but mine does have the hole. Um, you can drill it, I guess, if you don't have the hole, but you gotta take your bottom of your dash apart. But anyway, I got lucky I got a hole, so this is gonna be a very, very easy, simple job for me. So, I'm gonna stop babbling here. I'm gonna start uh, taking my truck apart, 
uh, get my lights off and then probably start running some of this stuff and I'll come back and kind of show you what's going on. Okay, so I've uh, got my grill, my headlights out and um, a little tip on these headlights. Uh, there's, a, there's a mounting bolt right there and I see a lot of uh, tutorials on, on how to pull these headlights out. People will totally remove that, um, that bolt right there and you don't need to remove that completely uh, because the headlight, you can see, is designed to actually slide into it. So it's a lot easier just to uh, leave that bolt in there, just loosen it up so you can get the, the light out. Um, with my custom bumper, I can actually get to that bolt uh, from the outside here, which is really nice uh, when you have a custom part and it makes uh, something a lot easier. If you have the factory bumper, uh, you're going to have to go... I've done it, I believe, on my other trucks by going underneath and sticking my arm up there and kind of feeling for it. Otherwise, you got to pull your inner liner out and then you can uh, access uh, that bolt that way. But there's no need to take it completely out, guys. It's, it's made to slide in there. And that'll, uh, hel that'll help you out, especially if you have the stock bumper and it's not easy to, to get to that bolt. Uh, one more tip on uh, these lights um, to get them out. Uh, basically, you just slide them out a little ways and then you gotta, you gotta kind of push them down to get them away from the, 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 the fender there, the top of the fender. And then um, the, they come out. It, it's really weird, but once you figure out how to do it, um, it's, it's pretty easy. Uh, I haven't taken one of these off in a long time. And it took me a little while to figure it back out again. But you just kind of push them down and try to get them away from this top part of the fender. And then you can tip the, the lights out and they'll come out. But it takes a little bit of finagling to get these out. Okay, so I've got my harness run through my truck here. You can see I got the, the headlight plugs uh, sticking out for this one. Got my headlight plugs for this side. Um, I got the wires routed. It's going to be hard to show you, but uh, I've got one routed right there. And uh, I've got my positive and negative over on this side. Uh, the older trucks, your single battery is over here. Uh, so this is a little bit different. I got my cables over here. I think I'm going to go to the battery here. But uh, this may change if I go to a dual battery setup. Right now I'm going to run the single battery. Um, actually my dad uh, ran the single battery uh, last year and it did fine so uh, maybe the, the the charging systems are a little better on these uh, newer trucks but <clears throat> anyway I'm going to try the one battery for now we'll see what happens uh, but that might change my positive and negative might go back over there if I do put the the second battery in um, Got my uh, ISO box uh, down in here where the battery, second battery would sit. Again, that might change if I do a second battery setup. Um, I run the control harness uh, into the cab. Uh, right here it is. And you can see there's a, there's a, a grommet thing right here. And I believe um, I thought this was the spot for the, the backup camera harness. Uh, I, I don't have a backup camera on my truck. But anyway, there's a grommet here and there's all kinds of room to uh, slit this and, and push it into the cab. Uh, this, you'll have this, this piece right here behind it. And that's inside the cab. You got to go inside the cab and you got to take this piece. Um, out of the grommet otherwise you won't be able to run your wire through it this is um, I guess this kind of holds it in place uh, probably better but um, it's not gonna go nowhere it's it's nice and tight 
on the firewall there and it's it just makes it so much easier for getting your your control harness into the cab so I got my control harness in the cab there I just got it routed out of the way and I'll show you once I figure it out what I connect to for um, a switched power source when I get to that I'm working on the, the headlight headlights right now you can see I've got this plug added this is added to the the western plow harness I got the red wire going to the turn signal I got the black wire going to the parking lights and then I'm gonna go over to my headlight here this is actually the headlight for the other side and this is what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna tap into the little harness on the headlight that way I'm not tapping into the, the harness of the truck I guess it don't make a difference but um, I may be getting um, different headlights so um, I, I've got the red wire here tapped into the uh, turn signal on this side which is uh, the right turn signal the black wire is just a dud but I'm just using it for this nice connector and then um, I got this connector here this will go on the other headlight and I'm going to be using both of them um, like I said the red will be the turn signal the black will be the, the parking light you don't you don't hook into the parking light on this side you only grab the parking light power from the driver's side and the only thing you get over here is uh, the turn signal so you don't need uh, dual parking light wires but anyway I've got this one I got to tape this one up and I'm using my weatherproof uh, connectors this one here is all taped up it looks like it was made that way uh, I've got here's all my connectors guys I buy a bunch of them and like I said I use these weatherproof ones with the shrink tube already on them um, if you heat them up really good I heat mine up really good all throughout the whole thing uh, the middle and the, and the edges and I don't really seem to have any trouble <clears throat> but anyway hopefully uh, my camera didn't blur out too much uh, with all that but I'm probably going to start securing my harness uh, getting some zip ties in a few places I'm gonna probably get uh, this headlight over here back in and then uh, yeah I'll bring you back if I if I find something that uh, I think would be useful for for you okay so I swapped out my grill piece that normally goes in my bumper and I swapped it out for the the light uh, trim piece that goes on there so I can have access to my plugs there's really no other way to do that for me to have access to these plugs but they're gonna tuck in there kind of nice and they'll be kind of hidden back there um, until I need them okay so I got my headlights uh, back in uh, they're just plugged in snug down I'm gonna do a test here once I get uh, the the rest of the wiring done so got them in it's all plug and play guys it's just uh, kind of piggybacking off your original plugs and I showed you those while I was on the ground um, for the main um, electrical uh, connections I've got my negative wire going to the negative part on my battery I just took this uh, little bolt off that tightens the, the terminal down I just took that off stuck my negative on there I did the same thing with the winch this is my cable for my winch um, seemed to work all right um, and then for the positive I went to this terminal right here and this is actually there's a fusible link uh, right here and the, the this terminal right here from the battery goes down and goes into here and then there's um, 
There's another cable that goes to the alternator, I believe, that goes into here, into your main cable. And then it is distributed, um, goes to your main fuse box with that uh, cable right there. But anyway, I'm going before the fusible link. I'm just going on the same terminal, basically. It's just connecting the, it's basically if I just connected it right to the battery here, it's, it's the same thing. The cable's right there, it's just a stud on the firewall versus actually going to the, the battery. Uh, I'm thinking about uh, just getting a new battery here with top posts and side posts. And then I could just run my, my plow stuff and possibly even my winch wire to the side terminals on the battery. It'd probably clean it up a little bit. It's gonna work the same, but anyway, this is the cover that actually goes on that fusible link. Um, I just pried it off. I actually use this part right here. I got a screwdriver under it and kind of pried it off because it kind of snaps on. There's four snaps there. And I'm gonna have to clearance it out a little bit because I've got, now I've got this wire right here. So it's gonna hit, it won't snap on. So I just gotta clearance it out a little bit right there. And that'll snap on, it'll look like a factory, it'll look like a factory deal. So uh, that's pretty much it for electrical connections, except for in the cab, I gotta find a switched um, 12 volt. So I'm gonna button up the engine bay here and zip tie all my wires so they're not getting in the way or whatever. And then I'm gonna head to the cab. So I had a little bit of corrosion I noticed on this fusible link on these uh, cables right there. So I went ahead and took them off and cleaned them up, sanded them off with some, uh, uh, I used a wire brush and some sandpaper. Whatever you, whatever you need to do to get a nice clean metal, guys. And then I put my dielectric grease on there, smeared it on there so it won't uh, corrode again. And then um, I'm tightening them back down uh, I've got my cover notched out. Got it notched out for the extra wire. I'm gonna snap that on. I gotta get my, my brace back here. Uh, probably hook my battery back up. And we'll be going into the cab. Okay, so going in the cab here to check out uh, what I did for my switched uh, 12 volt power source. And um, you can see uh, there are spots in here that um, are not used uh, on my truck. And I believe they're just for different uh, options on um, different vehicles. Anyway, some of those little pins have uh, switched power on here. Some of them have constant power. Some of them I think are grounds. But... Um, there's the one that I chose to go with. And these are small pins. You're gonna need the smaller uh, spade connectors. Actually, I just robbed one off of uh, an old plug I had. But um, you're gonna need the small spade connector and you're also gonna need to um, fuse this, guys. Uh, the, the handheld control needs a really small fuse compared to the joystick. So uh, make sure you do that. But anyway, if I had trouble uh, with this, I will report back. Uh, I've done it in the past. I haven't really had much trouble. But I got my wires all wound up there, out of the way. So, um, got my, my plug from my controller right here. Okay, so I'm back together. Um, I'm 99% confident that uh, I got everything right. I've done this quite a few times. I would say if it's your first time or whatever doing it, probably don't put everything back together. Uh, uh, go out and actually test it with your plow before you uh, put everything together. Uh, my only kind of question is, I did buy that uh, headlight harness um, and it was used. So if there is a problem, that's, that would probably be uh, the issue, not, not what I did. But anyway, I gotta get the forklift out. Um, I got my plow on a pallet. I gotta get that off the pallet. And we're gonna hook this thing up. See if we can't uh, get a plow on this thing today.
Looking good, guys. Looking good. So there it is, guys. All hooked up. Ready to go. Um, didn't really have any issues except uh, I do have my parking lights. My parking lights on the plow ain't working, but I'm pretty sure I know what that is. I didn't get uh, a wire crimped. It was working, now it ain't working, so um, I think I'll just take care of that um, uh, whenever I pull the grill off the next time. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much it, guys. I got uh, my sandbags in the, in the bed here. Not real happy, I got a hole in a couple of them, so I might uh, go get some new ones. I got about 400 pounds back here. Would like to get maybe um, two more sandbags to to be over 400 pounds, but that'll work for now. Ballast is really important, guys. Weight uh, behind the rear tires uh, really helps with everything. Helps with carrying the the weight of the plow and and just helps uh, the feel and everything. Very important. A lot of people don't realize how important the ballast is, but it is very important. Okay, so I've been having a little bit of trouble getting my plow to fully seat in the receivers. Um, I, I didn't have this problem before. I, I feel like it's probably because of the rust and the paint being scratched off. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm trying to lubricate it. I'm just using this uh, stable uh, rust stopper. Um, I guess it's supposed to lubricate and penetrate and whatever. Uh, water resistant, I guess. So we'll see. Um, I sprayed it in my receivers. I sprayed it on my um, uh, mounts. I'm not sure what they call those, those little spike things, but I sprayed it all over there. So hopefully this is just going to slide right in. Okay, so the lubricant didn't work. I've, I've tried that before and it didn't work. I use fluid film. Um, you, you're gonna have to have something solid for the plow to sit against to, to push into those receivers. The, the concrete's too slippery and actually I was outside in the gravel, it wouldn't do it either. So you're gonna have to have something solid to hold that. I take it that once the, the powder coat inside those receivers starts to get scratched up and rusty, um, it's not gonna just slide in anymore. Um, I thought the lube would do that. I actually went in there and I ground, I rounded out all the edges of the, the plow deal and it, it still wouldn't slide in. I finally got all the way up to here. I didn't have any more room to push it. So I got my winch out and I winched it uh, into the receivers. Worked out, worked out awesome. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I was hoping that that winch would come in handy like that uh, and it pretty much saved the day because I, I wouldn't, wasn't going to be able to, uh, to push it anymore. So glad I had the winch on there. Winch pulled it right in so I, I don't know what, what the deal is. So I got the parking lights working too. Uh, I did, I pulled my grill, pulled my headlight. Didn't even have to do that because it was the, the weatherproof connector that I showed you guys that I used uh, a pin inside that had uh, pushed pushed back and it wasn't engaging so I just I just pushed the pin back into the connector and voila so it wasn't even my fault it was just the the connector issue so uh, it is snowing a little bit outside there's not a whole lot out there but we'll uh, run it out there be a good little test for the for the plow.
So anyway guys, that's gonna do it for this one. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed the video. I'll see ya.